you are listening to the Pathfinder Guru Podcast, where we help you to become a greater leader. Join us as we take the Advent message to all the world in our generation. So, are you ready to become a guru in this ministry? Attention! Welcome to the Pathfinder Guru Podcast and thank you very much for joining us. I hope that you're doing well and you're safe under the shadow of God's wonderful, 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 wonderful wings. Ah, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're fine. I hope that you're still pushing in this beautiful ministry. I know it's hard. I know it's taxing. I know sometimes you feel like giving up, but God has placed you in this ministry. God has chosen you and we need to work and we need to serve and we need to ensure that when all is said and done, all honor and good glory may go to him. In today's episode, I want us to talk about the problem which I have in the ministry, which is to celebrate yourself. At times as leaders, we find it hard to celebrate ourselves. This is what we call the imposter syndrome. And this is something which I face daily. I feel like I don't belong here. I feel like I'm an imposter. I feel like, you know, in each and every committee that I sit in, in each and every planning program or whatever things that I do, sometimes I feel to doubt myself. I feel like I'm not enough. I feel like I've not studied enough. I feel like my experience is not enough to serve in this ministry when I'm sitting with big people, with big names who've been in the ministry for quite some time, who speak the certain language, who talk the certain language, who, you know, who speak in a way that you feel like, I don't belong here. I don't know. But God has been placing me here because God has placed me here. And in each and everything that I do, I'm able to compete at that level. I'm able to suggest, I'm able to, you know, bring in, you know, to be a good influence, to set an example, to set the pace. But I forget to celebrate myself because I feel like I am not enough. I don't celebrate myself because I feel like I'm an imposter. I feel like I'm not worthy of being where I am. As I'm doing this podcast, sometimes I feel like somebody else should be doing this podcast. I don't feel like it. And I was listening to a podcast with one of the most people who are famous in my country, which is Vusi Tembokwayo, who was speaking about the imposter syndrome. It blew my mind. And I thought to myself to say, I need to start celebrating myself. We need to start celebrating Ourself. And it's hard for me to do that. It's hard for me to celebrate myself. Even when I get the recognition, even if when I get those certificates, it's hard for me to recognize myself that you've worked hard, my man. You've did the work. You are enough. You are valued. You are an asset. It becomes difficult for me. And one thing that I started to do is to celebrate myself, to celebrate the small wins, to celebrate the big wins. Just celebrate each and everything. And, and, and I love it when Vusi said, make a noise about it. Even to those who don't like you, make a noise about it. And this is what I started to do. I appreciated myself. I said, you know what? Thank you, my man. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for putting the ministry first. Thank you for taking the sacrifices that in the long run produced good fruit, you know? And even when my back was against the wall, even when I wanted to doubt myself, I took a time and wondered to myself. I took some time because I celebrated myself. This is recently. This is just, I'm talking about celebrating myself because I listened to his podcast months back. But I only received it when I listened to it twice. When he referred to it on another podcast. And I started to celebrate myself. And when my back was against the wall, when challenges were facing me, when people were telling me that I am not enough, when I was challenged because of my leadership and the vision that I had or which I have in the ministry, I looked back at my small wins. I looked back at my big wins and I tied my belt and I said, I have the vision. I have the mandate and God has chosen me. I have the mandate. You know, when I'm speaking, when I'm speaking to you right now, I am even motivating myself. I'm speaking to myself. I have the mandate. I have the vision that God has given me and I will follow through. 
I should not doubt myself. And I should believe that in this ministry, I am an asset. And I am humble because I am working under the shadow of his wings. You may be feeling difficult to celebrate yourself. It may be difficult to see that you have worked hard, my brother, my sister, to ensure that you follow through with the progressive classes. You have worked hard to ensure that children go to the Pathfinder Kempori. You have worked hard to ensure that each and everything goes according to plan in the ministry. Celebrate yourself. Be proud of yourself because what you are doing was difficult for others. Others gave up, but you followed through. And I just want to clap my hands for you because you followed through, because you never gave up. Celebrate yourself for every single thing that you've done in the ministry. I'm not saying let the celebration or let what you're thinking go to your head and think that you're better than anyone else. No, that's, that's something which I faced because usually I did not want to celebrate myself because I had fear that if I celebrate myself, this celebration will go in my head and I think that I'm better than everyone else around me, which is not the case. And which if, even if you have those thinking, it's good to have those thinking, but deal with them decisively. But remember to celebrate yourself because don't let any fear block you in celebrating yourself. You have did well. You are achieving. You are moving up the ladder. You are almost done with your master guide curriculum. You are halfway. Celebrate yourself because no one else is going to celebrate you than you. No one is going to celebrate you better than you celebrate yourself. I may be proud of you, but tomorrow I might change and have jealousy. I might change and think you're better than me. But once you celebrate yourself, once you realize that, no man, I am pushing, I am gifted, God loves me, nothing in this world will ever stop you. Let's not let the imposter syndrome get to us, but let us push, let us soldier on, because God has given us the mandate, because God has chosen us to lead. Take some time. Go out. Post about it. Celebrate yourself. You have worked hard and you deserve this break. And I am proud of you. And I know that you can even do even more. Stop doubting yourself, my leader. Stop doubting yourself because you are great. And you are doing wonderful things. And God has chosen you. I did not choose you, but God has chosen you. But for now, as you think about how you're going to celebrate yourself, as you think about how you're going to make a massive noise about it, <laughs> you are dismissed with love from God.